Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and thank you for coming to my channel. And I'm going to do today an analysis of a great guitar player that passed away in 1982. His name was Gabor Zabro. And my first recollection, recollection of this extraordinary solo guitar player, jazz guy, it was 1976, sitting at home listening to my favorite radio station in Chicago, BMX. It was a, a, a station, or it was a show called Still After Dark, and after midnight, they would play all these great jazz songs. And I'm sitting here, and I'm listening. Then this song came on called Keep Smiling from the Night Flight album in 1976, I believe. Blew me away. I was like, whoa, I want to play guitar. I was like, I want to play guitar. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down here so you guys can hear this song because it's just extraordinary. Whenever Carlos Santana calls you his hero, you're something special. And I just watched an a interview. This is what prompted me to do this video. Uh, Carlos Santana was talking about Garbo. And he was saying how for years, meaning Carlos Santana himself, for years he was kind of in the B.B. King mode. He said when Garbo came around, he took him out of that mode because at that point he realized so many different possibilities to play the guitar. Because what's so special about Garbo, what was so special about Prince, was... And I try to put this in layman terms so the non-musician will understand this because most musicians understand what I'm about to say. When you solo, you know, normally you get a couple of bars in the song. It's like, okay, here comes your solo. You do your little thing for that short period of time. It's less than a minute. And you do a good job. But when you have the ability to solo for six minutes and it doesn't get tired and it's not repetitious, it's like, you just did that two minutes ago. You're something special. Because that's why I'm not really big personally on solos because I'm like, okay, I give you a good, good couple of bars of some, of some, you know, notes that sound good. But in order, but for me to sit there and try to do this for six continuous minutes, just beyond me. You know, it's, uh, you get to the point where you start to do some runs over again. You know, I did this, then I'm doing this, then I did this, and I did this just, you know, before. But there are some guitar players that have that special ability where they can... I guess you call it phrasings that they put together a long chain of phrases and they don't sound like what you did two minutes earlier because uh, as much as I love Ernie Isley, if you listen to his stuff, technically it sounds the same, you know, it just sounds the same. It sounds good, but it sounds the same. But when you listen to uh, keep smiling, and like I say, click on that link and just listen to it from start to finish. There's no repeats in phrasing. It's like, wow, it's just amazing. Another person or guitar player that I think is good at that is, uh, and he actually talked about that, is Eric Clapton. You know, uh, he has the ability to uh, just do long periods of solos. And again, the phrases are not duplicates or replica or duplicates of what you did two minutes earlier. You know, and I just had to post this video because as a musician, most of us can count on one hand. A musical event that nearly changed your life and put you in the direction of loving music. And uh, 1976, when I heard Keep Smiling, was one of those moments. I was like, whoa. You know, and it took me a long time to find that particular album because I didn't know who actually did it. I didn't know, you know, the artist's name was Garble. But after years, because another reason why I had a problem finding that particular album at that point was Bunny Sigler put out a song around that time called Keep Smiling too. Two totally different songs. They weren't covers of each other. Two totally different songs. And I was kept finding that one. And I'm like, well, maybe the, the title that I have in my mind is not Keep Smiling. Maybe it's something else because when I keep looking for that title around that era in the 70s, this other song keeps popping up. But eventually I did find it. But uh, I just thought I would, I guess, more or less pay tribute to an unbelievable guitar player. And unfortunately, he left too soon. He was only 45 years old when he passed away. And he passed away from liver and kidney failure due to a long going, long going bout with drug addiction. And it's just sad that a lot of times that go hand in hand. Musicians and drugs. Musicians and drugs. They leave here 20, 30 years early, too early, too soon because of drugs, you know. And maybe there will become a day where the musician would be a little more attention and uh, an awareness as far as uh, 
because I play guitar or I'm a musician. I don't have to go out there and start shooting up stuff in my my veins and snorting stuff and smoking stuff. You know, uh, I look forward to that day, and maybe that day won't come before I leave here. But you know, we leave, we leave, we miss. Oh, too many great people leave too soon because uh, you know, when I'm watching this Carlos Santana video, which triggered me to do this video, I said, uh, let me see if if God was still alive, you know, because Carlos still alive and still recording and playing, you know. So what's going on with Garbo? Then I went and did a Google Wikipedia, and uh, he passed away in 1982. I was like, whoa, that, okay, that's why we haven't heard anything. Well, I haven't heard anything, but again, I thought that I would post this video to acknowledge an extraordinary guitar player, an extraordinary solo player, and another person before I shut this down this video. And I would have loved to see more of this from him because I didn't realize he was that good at doing that. And that person is now Rogers because when we think of now Rogers, we think of that unbelievable right hand and that rhythm thing. But it was a song called, uh, what was the name of that song? Well, I'll leave a link down there because right now I'm drawing the blank. But it was a sad warfare. And uh, now Rogers actually did the same thing Garbo did. Solo through an entire song. It's like six minutes just soloing and playing jazz riffs. I'm like, whoa. You know, didn't know he could do that. But, you know, I guess he did that particular song to say, hey, I can do this. But I guess for some reason that's not something that he just loved to continue to do. I wish he would have because that was another one of them songs when I first heard. I was like, whoa, I got to learn how to play guitar because that's just sounding real good to me. So I'm going to sign off now and uh, just thought I would pay respects again to a, just an extraordinary jazz guitar player. Till next time, take care.